With my 2008 Chrysler Town & Country, I'm going to be adding a trailer wiring harness to it. I've already started. I have tools here. A test light. I grounded it on that little latch right there. A little tool kit. My wiring harness. Trailer kit. Using this Torx bit. T30 Torx bit. Got two Torx screws right here in the tail light, which I've already disconnected. One there, one down there. Let me just pop the tail light out. I've already done that. I disconnected the wire from the top. I decided I want to run the wires inside the car from my trailer instead of outside. And about to disconnect that bottom light. There's my wiring harness. I decided to pull out that little rubber grommet. Try to push my trailer light wiring through that. Stay tuned for the next part. So I've got my trailer wiring ready to go. Got my tail light out on the left side. I can use my test light. See which wire does what. I have the running lights and the flashers on so I can see what they do. It's going to be on this black wire right here. I'm going to test them to see what they do. So, put the light right in there so that's not doing anything that's the black wire with the yellow stripe not doing anything and there we go we have a constant light on so that's gonna be my running light that's the solid blue lot wire and this other one is my blinker so that's gonna be the white wire with the blue stripe so I was able to poke the wires through the existing grommet without enlarging the hole or anything it did kind of turn the uh, grommet inside out but I think it's still fine so now to uh, connect the wires to the right color on the existing harness right there. And I bought quick quick splices for that and I'll show you those in a sec. So here's my quick splice. I hope they're gonna fit. They seem like they might be too small for the gauge of this thicker trailer wiring so we'll see how it goes. Here's my package there. Here's one right here. You put the wire that you're splicing into this hole right next to my thumb. And then with the other hole, you put over the wire that you're splicing into. Then you just push this red tab over and it pushes down that metal piece and it makes contact. So I'm going to go ahead and test the wires again. The black and yellow one, I remember, didn't do anything. Oh, it's moving now. And the middle one, which is the blue, is constant. That's going to be my tail light. And the white with blue stripe is going to be my turn signal and brake light. According to this, my left turn signal and brake light is the yellow wire, the brown wire is the tail lights, the green wire. I have to probably run another wire over to the right tail light for that one and I have to ground it with the white wire. 
we'll go ahead and put the uh, quick splice on there and see how it works. To install the quick splice, you strip a little bit of the wire away. You slide this down the wire. I like to twist it up a little bit. The one with the uh, solid end there. Put the wire on that one. And just for the sake of the video, you can kind of see the wire inside there. Let's see if I can push it on there one-handed. Doesn't look like I can, so I'm going to stop for a sec. So I have the wire in there. And you can kind of see it. Um, I actually have to use pliers to push that down because the plastic wasn't strong enough. So I'm going to connect this brown one to this blue wire now. So here we go. Push it down with the pliers. You can see it piercing the blue wire. And then you just snap this over. Like that. And it's closed. So we'll have to do the ground wire and run another green wire over to the other side for the right tail lights or the right brake and turn light I mean that's what I'll do next okay so it's dark now I think we'll get some supplies got my ground wire taped everything up and I have this green wire that's gonna run under the bumper and up to the right tail light but first unfortunately you have to drill a hole somewhere in here for the ground wire use a self-tapping screw to hold that in there and then hopefully it'll all work okay here we go wiring is all ready to go on the driver's side there's my hole drilled for the ground looks like the next step is going to be running that green wire underneath the bumper for the other side and then of course testing okay now we're under the car and you can see the green wire I zip tied it to these brackets at the bottom of the bumper over the top of the receiver hitch above the muffler and above that metal bracket just to kind of keep the heat from the muffler away from it okay on this side we have black wire with the yellow white wire with purple and a yellow or a white wire with yellow. I've got to figure out which one is the blinking one since the turn signals are on. That's going to be the turn signal on the brake. So I use my test light and this black plug again. First we're going to test. It's hard to do this one handed. Okay, there it is. First try. It is the white wire with the yellow stripe. That's the first one. That's on the right side of the vehicle. White wire, yellow stripe. Just for the sake of testing, the white wire with the purple stripe is the running light and the black wire with the yellow stripe is doing nothing so white wire with the yellow stripe is a turn signal on the brake 
and the white wire with the purple stripe is the tail light. Okay, so I have my green wiring in. I have it taped up. Did do a great job on the tape that time. Maybe I'll add some more tape. And all I have to do is test it, put the tail lights back in, we'll be good to go. Okay, so trailer lights are working. There's the left side flashing. There's the light right side flashing. Still need to put in the tail lights, but that's working well. And as you can see, with the brakes, well, that didn't do anything because the flashers are on. So there's the regular tail lights. There's brake lights, tail lights, brake lights. Left turn signal, right turn signal. Good to go. So, there we go. I think I did it. Instead of buying the very expensive, sometimes not working trailer light harnesses for the Chrysler Town & Country and Dodge Caravan, I went and bought just the uh, wiring kit. I think I spent about eight bucks on it. And there we go, I'm set up. Okay, here we go. The van lights and the trailer lights are working back in business.